Hi guys! Do you ever thought about setting up multiple virtual machines almost instantly in just a few clicks? We can test almost anything in a virtual machine without messing up things. In today's video, I'll show you how to do this with Proxmox templates and snapshots. Templates make it easy to create virtual machines and snapshots allow us to undo changes if we make any mistake. And there's also a bonus feature. A creative approach for saving a lot of storage while hosting multiple VMs. Stay tuned and you'll wind up with a configuration that is faster, safer, and significantly more storage efficient. So let's get started. I have already prepared a Ubuntu Server virtual machine in Proxmox. Let's log in with our username and password and get this server ready to be the ideal template. First, make sure everything is up to date. Just run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade y. It will prompt you for your password. Provide it and press enter. Keeping the template fully updated ensures that any VM we create from it is ready to use straight away. Once that's completed, let's use the clear command to start over with a blank screen. Now I will install nano and QEMU guest agent. For that we will type sudo apt install nano QEMU guest agent dash y. Adding these tools will save us a lot of time as they will be pre-installed on every VM we clone from this template. Now we will use the command sudo power off to shut down the virtual machine. Once we are back in Proxmox, we will prepare to transform this VM into a template. Simply right click on it and select convert to template. Then click on yes. Now, if you will notice here, the icon will change. Indicating that it has converted into a template Let's clean things up by removing the installation media first. For that, we will go to Hardware and select the DVD drive. Then click on Remove and hit the Yes button. Now we are ready to create virtual machines from this template, so there's no need to start from scratch each time we need a fresh Ubuntu VM. Simply right-click on the template we created and select Clone. While cloning, we will select Linked Clone. This option is super cool because it prevents duplication of the operating system files for each VM we created from this template. Also, we have to keep in mind that Linked Clones rely on the original template, so it can only be deleted after all linked VMs are removed. Next, we can assign an ID for the VM. By default, Proxmox autofill the next available ID number, which keeps everything organized. Now let's provide a name. I will call this Ubuntu01. Once named, we can go ahead and click on clone. And we can see a new entry in Proxmox server view almost instantly. Let's create another VM the same way. I'll name this one Ubuntu 02. Now that we have two VMs, let's take a look at our storage usage. For that, we will click on Proxmox. And here you can see the amount of storage currently being used. Take a note of it as we will compare it after creating another VM. So let's proceed. We will call this VM Ubuntu 03. Now if we recheck our storage usage, there's barely any change. This is because these linked clones are all referencing the same set of base files from the template, which is why storage usage doesn't increase much. This is a powerful way to save storage while deploying multiple VMs based on the same OS setup. 
Also, adjusting the resources of any VM is super easy. You can independently modify the settings like CPU cores or memory to meet specific needs without affecting others. Now, let's start up all three virtual machines to get their IP addresses. With a QEMU guest agent installed, each VM will display its IP address directly in Proxmox. The IP addresses are different, even though they are generated from same template. Since every virtual machine has a unique IP address, we can now easily connect to them remotely and use them immediately. Now let's open the terminal on the host machine. Here type SSH, then your username, followed by at the rate, then the IP address of the Ubuntu server. And press enter. You will receive a prompt to verify the server's fingerprint for connection authentication. To proceed, we will simply type yes, then press enter. Once SSH accepts your fingerprint, it'll prompt you for your password. And with that, we are able to access the Ubuntu virtual machine. Now, if we execute the nano installation command again, it will show us that the package is up to date, confirming that it is already installed. But why am I showing you this? Because this leads us to one of Proxmox's key features, known as snapshots. This feature allows us to capture the current state of our VM thereby capturing a moment in time. If anything goes wrong with our setup in the future, we can easily restore it to its safe condition. Let's give it a try. First, we will select snapshots from the Proxmox UI, and then click on Take Snapshot. If the system is already running, you should enable the RAM option. This will preserve everything exactly as it is at this moment, capturing not only the disk state, but also the contents of RAM, including any open applications or processes. Next, let's name our snapshot. You can also provide a message, which can be a reminder of what this represents. Then click on Take Snapshot. This could take some time depending on the present status of the system and the size of the data. Once done, we can close this window. This snapshot functionality is quite useful for testing new configurations or program installations, since it allows us to restore everything to the exact point. Let's return to the terminal. Now we will try another utility called NeoFetch. NeoFetch is used to present basic system information in a clean and visually appealing way. To install it, Execute the command sudo apt install neofetch-y Once the installation completed, simply type neofetch and press enter. We will get a concise summary of our system information. This contains kernel, OS version, RAM utilization, and more. Now we will try to roll back to our previous snapshot. For that, we have to log out first. Now, I will navigate to the Snapshot section and select the one we created earlier. Then click on Rollback. A confirmation window will appear. Here, we will click on Yes. Proxmox will then start restoring the system to the exact state it was when we took the snapshot. Once the rollback is completed, we need to verify the IP address. And as you can see, it has not changed. Now let's reconnect to the VM. Once logged in, we will check if NeoFetch is still installed here. It is showing command not found. That means NeoFetch is not installed. This indicates that the system has returned to its previous state before we installed NeoFetch. Let's use the same command to reinstall NeoFetch. 
sudo apt install neofetch-y. This time, it will install without the warning of latest version. After installing it, we can run neofetch as usual. This is the power of snapshots. It allows us to save and restore a virtual machine's exact state so that we can experiment, test any changes, or install software confidently, as we can always roll back if required. That's it for now on Proxmox templates and snapshots. In the next video, we will put these features to use. Make sure you do not miss it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.